Hello and welcome to a new lesson in Linux. In this lesson we will be talking about process management. A process is an instance of a program running in Linux. Managing processes is an important task for you. You may need to send specific commands or signals to a process that doesn't respond properly anymore. So first we will have our first command. We will type ps and view the processes. As you can see here is a process running and here it's process ID PID 1385 and there is another process over here with another process ID and notice that this PS command it displays for you the current process on this uh, bash or this root or on this bash which is running by the root I will type the command in a different way. I will type ps minus l and then press enter. Here it will display for me some of the same options but with one extra option which is the parent of the process ID. Now we have run the process ps from the process bash and that's that's why you will find that the ID, the parent ID, or uh, sorry, I mean the process ID of the bash is the parent process ID of the process PS. Now I'll display the process in another way. I'll type PS minus E and then pipe it through less. Press enter. Here it will display for you all of the processes on the server if I scroll down with the mouse uh, sorry I mean with the arrow you will find the process that are running on the server and this of course shows you the process ID which is this one and its time and the current process or the current command I'll press Q to get out now Let's display it in another way. I'll type ps minus a u x and pipe it through less. Press enter. Here you can find some other options. You can find the user and the process ID and under CPU it displays for you the current CPU that this process is using and the under mem, the current memory that the process is using and this is the size reserved for the process in the virtual memory and then you can find here some of the starting time and the time and then the command itself now I will attempt to run a command so that we will can see its process in a better way I will type the command sec and then add a number and but first let's see what sec sec is a command uh, it's a short word for sequence for example if I type sec and then 10 and press enter it will list for me numbers from 1 to 10 if I type sec 100 for example and press enter sorry I made a mistake if I type sec and then 100 and press enter it will display for me numbers from 1 to 100 so I will type the command and add a large number and then redirect it to then slash null and then the and sign which will be shift 7 and this means that I will that I'm asking the shell to run this comment for me in a background comment or as a background comment and it will it will redirect the result in slash dev null now I'll press enter and I'll type the comment PS A U X 
and then I will pipe then grip this EQ press enter now I have displayed the current process as you can see its name here and here its ID now let's see how to terminate the process using its ID I will type the command kill 9 and then the ID of the process which will be here 1414 and press enter as you see I have used the command grip to display all of the running processes in the AUX that has the word sec or the process by the name sec so I will type it one more time so that I will be sure that the process is terminated I press enter as you see it displayed for me the word here terminated now let's see how to view the running process in its actual or its current time by another way to view the process I will type the command top and press enter here it will display for me all of the current process running on the server and with its process ID the user and its CPU usage and its memory usage and its time and its command now as you see here it displayed for me some other options like uh, the time the server have started and the uh, users and you have here some information about the memory and the swap you can have a lot of information from here and now I will I'll press on Q to get out of the top and you can view some of the options of the top by their own without typing the command top if I type uptime and press enter here it says the current time on the server and up 49, 49 means that the server have been started from 49 minutes and there is five there are five users on the server and you can see the load average from here you can type another command too if you type free and press enter it will display for you the memory and the used memory and the free memory you can type the same command in another way to display the memory in megabytes so type free and then minus m and press enter here it displays for you the same memory but with megabytes as you can see here in the total and the used and the free now we will try on the same command or the same process that we have tried a few minutes ago which is the sec and type a large number and we will view this process by the command top so I will redirect it to dev null and then shift 7 or the and sign press enter now I'll type top as you see here is the the comment or the process that we have just made and here is the processes ID as you see over here the current process which is sec is using a lot of the CPU 99.8 and this may not be very nice so you may need to kill processes or terminate processes that are using a lot of your CPU so to kill this process I will type I will not type I will press on K and it will appear for me PID to kill and here I will type the ID of the current process which is 1435 and press enter as you see here it's asking you to terminate it with the signal 15 the last time we have terminated it with the signal 9 and this means that it will terminate the process without warning it 
but with signal 15 it will send a warning first to the process that it wants to terminate it and it's preferable that you will use the signal 15 while you are deleting or terminating a process so I'll press enter and as you can see the process have disappeared from here and it's terminated now we have seen how to view the process that are running on the server and how to terminate a process now let's check out how to terminate or remove a process by its name or by its user I will open another shell okay now I will run a command from this user which is torque and I will make it type sec then enter a large number redirect well, before I press enter let's scroll down so that when I press enter you will see the process will appear here right away down here press enter Okay, sorry, I've made a mistake over here. I'll add another L. Now, when I press enter, it will appear for you the process over here. As you can see, it appeared over here the process sec and the user torque and its process ID. Now, let's see how to terminate the process by its username first I'll get out of here and then I will type the command p kill then minus u torque and press enter as you see over here it displayed for me a message server unexpectedly closed network connection and this means that it has terminated all of the processes of the user torque And now let's see how to terminate the process via the process's name itself. I'll make another process now. And press enter. And I will view it from top. As you can see here, the name of the process I will go back out and I will terminate the process by its name I will type p kill and then sec and press enter now if I type comment top one more time you will not find the process over here now we have talked about the process managing and how to view a process and how to delete or terminate a process by its username its ID or its name itself now we will talk about jobs and or the command jobs and what jobs do is that it displays comments that take time and list them for you so you can manage them but unlike normal comments that don't take time they will not appear in jobs so first let's get out of here and clear the page now let's make a process and I will make another process
and notice here it will display for you the process by its ID and its number this is process number one and this is process number two and those are the numbers of each process as a job now I will type the command jobs and press enter as you see it displayed for me the two processes that I have just made over here with the number one which is this number and the process's name and its status that it's running the first one and the second one too is running now if you want to terminate a process from here you will type pkill and then the process's name I will uh, terminate the first one press enter and I will terminate the second one and press enter as you can see here it's stated for me that both jobs are terminated now let's make another process one more time sorry for that dev then null but this time I will not insert the and sign or the shift 7 sign and let's see what happens when you type a comment like this and you don't make it a background comment then leave it as it is now if I press enter as you see I can't type any other comments if I type CD home for example press enter or if I want to go to any other directory or type jobs or anything it will not accept any comments from me until this process is finished okay now what could I do to terminate this process I will press on control C and by that the process is terminated I will make another process again and I will not insert the AND and press enter <coughs> there is another way to stop a process but this time you will not terminate it you will only stop it and it will be control Z and as you see here it's stated for you that the process is stopped but it's not terminated if I type jobs press enter to be sure one more time you see here the process is stopped I will make another process and run it as a background I will insert the add the and sign this time and press enter now I will type jobs as you can see we have two processes over here one is stopped which is this one over here that we have just stopped by the control Z and the other one is running which is this process that I have just made right now now if I want this stopped process to get back to work in the background I will type the command BG and then the number of the process which will be number one I will type here one and press enter now if I type jobs you will see that both of the processes are running the first and the second one now if there is a process in the background and I want to bring it to the foreground I will type F G and say for example I want to bring this second process to the foreground I will type its number number 2 and here it is it came for you in the foreground and you may delete it from here or terminate it from here if you want by control C
and by that you have terminated the second process and by that we have learned and talked about how to manage process thank you for watching and see you in the next lesson